Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, we are simply going to install this nice set of spacers into my 981 Cayman S right there. This is a fairly simple process, so let's go ahead and get started. Perfect. If you don't know what wheel spacer do, it's pretty simple. All that does is just push the wheel out a little bit. Now when you look here, it looks like the tire and the wheel are way inside the fender well. As you can see right here, when I look on the top, you see once I have it installed, it's going to really poke and push it a little bit. It's going to look flush with the fender well and the wheel right here. Now on the front, which is right here, same thing. It's just gonna push it out. This is a 235. It's gonna push it out and then make it feel like it was maybe a nine inch wide tire on the front here. And on the back here, it's gonna look like maybe it's a 295 tire because it's a 265. And although I wish to have a wider wheel with wider tire, this is not what I have right now. So this is how you kind of achieve that look and that stance and make the car look a little more aggressive. Now, if you have a car that is lowered, this is even gonna be looking even worse because this is gonna be now having a little more camber and then it's going to look way, way, way bad. So spacers are something that you may want to use on your car if you, you know, wanna have an aggressive look. Now, to install the spacers is pretty simple. I've done it so many times on the channel. I'm gonna link a few videos up there so that you can watch how it is done. But simply, you jack the car, remove the wheel, um, clean up a little bit of the hub area, put the spacer, put everything back with longer stud. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then show you how this look so you can have a before and after so let me just get back up here and give you a look of how everything sits right now so that we can compare that with whenever i have the spacer set as you can see it's way inside the wheel arch here same on the back here man that e46 is ooh. It's, it, look at the a46 you can see how it is flush with the fender. I do have spacers on that. So that's the kind of look that I'm chasing here. So one thing that I wanted to uh, actually emphasize is that whenever you are installing wheel spacers, there are a few things that you need to make sure that, you know, your spacers and also that you do on the wheel hub. First thing on the wheel hub, you have to make sure that you clean it up using a wire brush. What that would do is gonna prevent shakiness whenever you install the you know, wheel spacer and then you drive at high speed. A lot of time people will install spacers, they don't do the cleanup, and then when they drive, they have you know wheel shaking and whatnot, and that's because you did not clean up. Now, when I remove earlier, they had like a little bit of rust area here, so I use a wire brush to clean it up, that's why it looks the way it is. Now, these marks just simply where the wheel touches the wheel arch here for Porsche it doesn't touch everywhere like any other car now another thing that you can do also put uh, you know NTCs right here in this part so that you can prevent it from seizing and rusting because um, right here right here, it looks nice the car has 40,000 miles so that's kind of what you should expect now another thing that you should do not comp on, on the spacers itself is to ensure that if you take adding spacers you also have to have longer wheel board if you can compare here this is the factory one right here and you can see it is much shorter than the you know aftermarket from ecs tuning that's because this is a 12 mm spacer so normally this distance between the top here and that one will be 12 millimeter because that's literally this space right here so and you also need to make sure that you have something that is hub centric because you know the wheel needs to sit on this hub, just like you have this hub right here where the spacer will sit when I install it. So that's really what I wanted to point out concerning spacers whenever you are installing. Make sure that you have these done, then you won't have any issues, you know, with the wheel actually coming off or shakiness whenever you're driving. So on to, uh, you know, finishing this, doing the back and then showing the, you the finished product. It's done and man, it looks so nice as you can see here now the wheel is spoking further out i installed ecs tuning 12 millimeter spacers as you can see right here on the front and i also have 12 millimeter on the back and you can see now the back can technically take a 15 millimeter but i wanted to keep you know the same geometry from the front and back the same ratio so i didn't want to have 
the back maybe poking out too much or something but something that a lot of people do a lot they actually put a seven millimeters on the front and put like a 12 or 15 on the back so that pushes the back out further but since i plan on lowering i will see how everything sits after it is lowered and if i need a 15 or a 12 or adjust i might uh, purchase a different set but for now since i'm not lowered and that's my hnr vtf kit right there man i just love it so i talk everything to spec and i also you know roll the car front and back just so that the car can sit the way it is right now that is a normal height when i drop it you know it's going to be maybe have like a 20 millimeter drop and the car will look even better Ooh, i love it i love it i love it i definitely love it these are 19 millimeter stud so when you buy it it's also going to be 19 millimeter just like the factory i dig the look man so what do you guys think drop in a comment below you know if you think that this is a nice aggressive look now that i have this is making the tire come out a little bit and i love it now i think i might actually go with wider tires with 245 here and 275 on the back because i just think that the tires are a little stretched especially on the back on the front here they looks okay but on the back i think it is a little a little stretch now look at it it can definitely have a little more meat you guys know i love meaty tires look at the a46 see how it is meaty here although it is dirty but you see how meaty although this is 18 but you know it's meaty and i love it so that's the kind of look i want to have here so i might order myself uh mp4s michelin pilot sport 4s I have it there on the back with 275 35 20 and 245 35 20 here on the front what do you guys think man let me know drop in the comment below also make sure that you like this video share and subscribe to the channel so this was it man i just wanted to show you guys uh, you know, how you know you can change the look and add more aggressiveness to your car just with adding spacers so this is it my name is theo and then uh, thank you for watching see you guys on the next video bye bye